What's up, guys? More informative commentary. Today, we're reversing a bunch of tanks. So I'm going to show you guys how you should itemize against them. Uh, right now, so we have Conquer. So Conquer is really good against like tanky people because it gives you more sustained damage. That's one. Uh, two, we'll see how the builds go. Right now, I'm versing a Belveth. I've never versed a Belveth in my life. Um, but we're going to try to farm it out. We're going to farm it out and see what's up. Not going to do anything too crazy in lane. I'm trying not to. I'm trying to keep the game even. So maybe I won't do too much in lane, but uh, on the map, you know, if I have to go, I'll go. Hopefully I can teach more concepts than just being in the in the lane and trying to get kills and stuff like that. So right now, nothing. Ooh, maybe? Hold on. Okay. Can't really do much here. He wouldn't have done anything either. I was thinking of getting E there, because Tarek did walk up. But I don't think E would have done there, done anything there either. Now, Belveth actually has E Blade. And she has a kill. I'm going to try to mainly push her out of lane. That's what we'll try to do. So she's half health, so I'm going to just poke her out. She's like... She's definitely killable. Like, she's so killable right now, because she didn't back. Uh, she's making it really hard for me right now. We'll just poke her out until she gets annoyed. Maybe maybe that's the play. But yeah, she's not walking up right now. She's She knows she's low, so I have control. I can hit level 2. Okay. Hmm, didn't bounce. Okay, we get the lane pushed. We'll leave her be. Maybe we'll hit her with one Q. Remember when you hit people with uh, Q, it's going to bounce on the minions, and it could potentially push back. So you do want to be conscious of that. But we want to make sure she gets her first back first. Now, will they stay bot lane? Okay, we'll let that be as well. Then it gets a double, that's good. You want to pressure this cannon. She does a level 3. Alright, so we're going to chill out. So I got top lane. Nasus is just going to be a farm fest. Against the Urgot. Okay, we just want to hit 2. We're going to chill out here though. We're just going to let it push into us. Get the guaranteed wave. Seems like she's not going to be able to pressure us really. Okay, just ping Belveth. She could be going top. Yep, she's roaming up there. So I'm just going to shove in this wave. It's too late for me to go there right now. I get the guaranteed XP. She has two kills right now. I should crash. I'm just pretty much waiting for my um, my blasting one here. We're gonna poke her with Q again. Boom. Pressure. All right. We don't know where Sejuani is. She still hasn't shown on the map yet. I'm gonna see if we could pressure the Belveth out of the lane at least. Not going to jump on that, just to get one minion. We don't want to like shove the lane back into her. We're just going to play it slow. Stay at a safe place. But here, we can actually do this. Dodge that. Just E out. Just try to pressure her off the lane. No kills. I'm going to try to not get any solo kills. Now the wave pushes into her. We're going to hit her with another Q. Boom. Alright, let's look at bot lane. Bot lane. We can actually keep the Belveth here just by like shoving. We're pressuring her to stay. 
or else she misses a wave. She actually chooses the back here because she has she has money. We're just gonna leave it at that, and we're gonna back. Now she's gonna get her items. I do want to back here. Hopefully they're okay down there, but it's better if I back right now. Just to time it better with the Belveth. So that we can both, like, if she decides to pressure, doesn't give her, like, room to pressure because I'm going to be there in the lane, right? But remember, Belveth is Mia. Be careful, guys. I might have to help here. Belveth flashes. Okay, Belveth gets that. Coming. Belveth might keep going. She's smart. She'll back. Okay, she backed. All right, now we're back in the lane. Lane's pushing into me. Velvet gets another kill. She's going to go into Bork. So if she actually gets the Bork really, like, quick, she can actually just, like, destroy me. I'm going to hit 6 here. Pressure her. Yes, just autos. Autos. She still has her knockup, so I'm not going to ult. Probably just stick to the plan of just poking her. Poking her and push. That's all we're gonna do. Like that. Poke and push. We see Terra coming up. We see Terra coming up. Okay. She wants to go. She wants to go. She wants to go. Dodge that. We're good. Q. Dodge that. And we're good. Three people here. Dodge that. Sork she's OP. Just having the extra movement speed. Throwing three people here. And living. That's a win. That's a win. Looks like they're gonna push in. I'm just gonna let them push in. We're just, gonna, we're just trying to let the game go naturally as possible. Without us influencing the early. We're just gonna try to hit our spikes here. We know Sejuani's bottom. Around bottom side. Maybe she's getting dragged. Okay, just chilling out. Velvet doesn't look like she wants to walk up. So I guess we'll just keep the 9 CS. Lightly clear the wave, that's fine. As long as it's still pushing into me. And we're just denying her the CS. She has 28 CS right now. She is kind of scared. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep the wave frozen here. She's actually really scared to walk up. She might actually back here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say she backs here and I'm just gonna push. So she's gonna miss this other wave as well. And then because she's backed, I could use this to roam. Ooh, that was actually roam's top. Okay, that's fine. Can I go bottom here? Yeah, I go bottom. That's a three-man gank top. I'm pretty sure they backed here, though. An ally has been slain. Okay. We're just going to go back into mid lane. The mid lane crashed into the tower, and now it's pushing back into me. So that's fine. We know Sejuani's top, probably getting rift. Could be getting drag here because we pushed... We pushed, uh... We pushed bot lane out of lane. So getting drag here is probably the play, but... Again, we'll keep it even. Okay, team wants to do it, then sure. I think Belveth is actually helping with Rift, so I'm going to shove this. Now, Sork Shoes doesn't allow me to push that fast, which kind of sucks. So I do lose a little bit of lane control if I go in Sork Shoes, but I do have a lot of movement speed. I'm going to ward this. See where they're coming from. We get the drag. That's cool. Juani's here. Little minion things. I still don't know how these work. I'm gonna clear them. Belveth has the rift. Okay. So I'm gonna shove this. And just back off. Let's see. It's a cannon wave. That's fine. She probably has Bork now. So at this point, it's gonna be really hard to fight her. Okay. So us going into Blasting Wand and Amplifying Tomes, good because we get to clear the wave better. So the plan isn't to fight Belveth, but it's more so to just push her in and try to pressure the map. 
Bot lane's doing really well though. Ooh, wait a second. Oh, she doesn't have pork yet. I think bot lane dies here. Kaisa lives? Oh. Okay, I don't I don't know what all this is. Ooh. Wait a second. Senna doing work. Okay, we'll just let her take that. We'll just let her let her do that. All right, clear the way fast. Look, look at me. I'm level nine right now. She's level seven because she was roaming a lot, right? So I'm actually pretty strong and ahead in terms of EXP. We have her pushed in. Are they gonna fight? Velveth is up now. Ooh, messed up the combo there a little. There's something to escape to. Gonna back off from that. And then this card is gonna ult. Juke out. Take the plant. Gotta walk up. Because they could be cutting me off down there. There's another plant here, so we're okay. It's nice when you can, like, set up the queue, walk the one way, and then just go the other way. Jukes them out sometimes. Alright, even game. Super even game. Alright, that's a lot of poke. Hoping I could dodge the Tarek's done there. Dude, what are these minions though? I know it's not really eventful if I'm like not doing much, but hopefully in the mid game, game gets a little bit more juicy. Tarek's just here, which means that they could just like. That's fine. Okay, bot lane gets the push in. Senna's strong. Let's see who's strong. Karthus, 1-3, me 0-1, okay. Okay, I think the game is going as planned. They're gonna probably take mid lane here. Bot lane's kind of strong, Senna's kind of strong, but I think... Depends how they pressure. Velveth is 4-0. Jinx 0-3, okay. We have tanks that we have to kill this game, so I'm gonna try to show you guys how to itemize against them. The thing is, tanks aren't really that scary. They do have a lot of CC and they are like harder to one shot, but they're not that hard to deal with. If they start building MR, you just build Pen. That's kind of it. Like Tarek is going into Aegis, right? Which means that we're gonna probably need to build a little bit of MR, right? Or a little bit of a uh, Magic Pen. Just for him, but it really depends. So if you see Sejuani too. Oof. My cannon. Sejuani is also doing the same thing. She's going Sunfire or she's going into Aegis. So we're going to need Pen in general just to deal with them too. Or at least be able to kill them. This isn't going to go anywhere. We're going to go to bottom. Just clear the wave. Okay, Kaisa gets jumped on. So you grab the wave. Okay, they're moving up to her. It's getting soloed by the tank. That's a losing fight. Okay, I think we're officially behind. Set up the dagger over. Wow. There's a Belveth here. Okay, that's that's cool with me. We we're actually able to get a lot that fight. I think the way I played it out was really good. Like, pretty much finding the opening onto the low uh, health targets in that fight. That's also one thing when it comes to versing tanks. You need to make sure that your damage is going onto the carries and onto the people that matter, right? And anything that can help you get the reset, always good, okay? So here, we have two people building Aegis. Ergon might be a little bit tanky too. 
But if we just go into AP, we should still do a lot of damage to them. It just takes a bit of time in team fights to actually like go in and pressure, right? So right now we'll go into maybe I'm thinking demonic. I wouldn't recommend demonic against tanks. It's not like a tank breaking item, but it helps with Riftmaker and Riftmaker is pretty good versus tanks. Maybe I'll just go into Riftmaker instead here. So there's going to be a fight. So like I said, you got to just watch out for CC when it comes to like tanky champs and you got to know who you're jumping on. Very important. So we are pretty, we are, we're pretty strong right now. We have the Nasher's Tooth and we have a Blasting Wand. Midway's pushing in, but uh, I just want to play out this fight here. Okay, we see the Belveth. All right, play it slow. We have to play it slow. Are they looking to go in or not? Ouch. Okay, I'm gonna go grab this mid wave. That's a huge wave. Okay, we got hex gates up. Okay. We're gonna hover around mid. Nasus looks like he's okay. We're just letting him farm at this point. They did do decide to jump on him. I'm around. Oh, there's four here. Okay, okay. This might be a fight. This is. This will be a fight. They're gonna look to dive here. So we just wait out CC here. Tanky champs, we just wait out CC. We're here. Sejuani so goes in, tanks the tower. CC down. EWQ. Ah, Pericle. Okay. Wait that out too. Alright, now we go back in. Good, good. Team played it well too. That was good. We played it patient. No one really committed too hard until the Terracolty, so that was good. But at least in terms of my job in that fight, I have to wait out the things that can cuck me, right? Terracol cucks me, so I don't want to blow anything unless I know I can burst people down, like, before the Terracol, right? I don't think I'm that strong yet, though. But they, they did dive pretty weird though. I thought that was a pretty weird dive. So Joanny just went right in. She saw us around too. So she just kind of tunneled on that. Alright, we'll take this tower. It's a Jinx. Well, I see two people up there. There's three people up there, so... I'm gonna jump in on the Jinx. Boom. Kill. Everyone but the tanks. Fuck it. Super vulnerable. Jinx is 0-5 now. Now, here's what happens. So Jinx is actually behind, right? 0-5 doesn't even have her first item completed. So they collectively as a team, they don't have too much damage. Urgot doesn't have his damage items yet. He has Hole Breaker. Uh, we'll go into Rift Maker here. Just straight into Rift. We'll go Sweeper too so we can run around and clear wards and try to pressure the map that way. So we're going to take this Hex Gate. Something happening here. Okay. Could jump out here. Okay, we're just we're just waiting, we're stalling. I don't want to go in. All right. Nice. Oof. Okay, who is it? Jinx and Sejuani? I don't think I'm really too worried about them. I just need to make sure that I wait out the CC before I uh, actually use my ult. Well, shit. Okay, a little inting's not bad. Nasus gets the kill, that's fine. See, you see the problem there? I ulted, and then... She still had her Q, right? And also, there was a tower there. So that was just a straight up int. But she also has Sunfire, which gives her MR, which means that it's hard for me to kill her. Now, ooh, this is good, actually. So Tarek has Locket, right? And this gives MR and armor to all nearby champions, which means that they're all going to have MR and they're all going to be tankier. So the item that you go is going to be Void Staff. 
it's gonna have a lot of value. Ooh, my team is doing doing work right now though. Two people dead. I'm gonna go down there as soon as possible. You have the hex gate as well. We're looking for fights. I'm pretty sure they want to engage back in. There's three people, right? Just the Nasus. I'm gonna go in on the Karthus here. It doesn't matter. I'm pretty strong. I remember what you did, Sedge. Alright. So yeah, simple answers here, really. If the enemy team is tanky and they start building MR, you just build Void. That's it. You just build Pen. There's really nothing like crazy to it, right? You just build Pen. Because that does more damage to them. And if they have any kind of CC, if like these tanks like kind of like Malkai and stuff, you just have to wait them out. Right? Like you just have to play around them. Like any champion. It doesn't even have to be tanks. This is just like general rule of thumb for Cat. Is that a soloing here? Okay, maybe we could use her as bait. Cleric's coming. Okay, remember, play around CC. Or get the one reset. Boom. EW. Q. Walk. Ooh. Still gets me. I'll yell. Okay, cool. Ergot's here. Boom. The Sejuani. We got tanks. We got tanks out here. She she misses all her CC. Boom. We start going in. Q. E. Boom. I can go in if, you know, Sejuani misses all her CC. You just gotta wait or you just gotta use it, right? Boom. Nice. You just gotta make them use it. Especially something like Sejuani, where, like, she has to aim her shit. You could try to bait it out. Ooh, okay. Parakeet is stunned. Do I want to go in on that? Okay, she used everything. Boom. And then you go in. Boom. Kill Tarek before ulti. Yep. Clear as day, right? Clear as day. You just wait. Velvet's not really tanky, but... Does do a lot of damage. Does get the uh, the Solari, the Solari buff as well, where he gets MR and armor. So here, we're gonna go into Void. Oh God, can't kill me. It's fine. I'm just gonna ult. Yeah, tanks don't tanks don't deal that much damage, so you don't have to worry too much about tanks. You just need to make sure you kill the people that actually do. It's just annoying when like. They actually just stop you from doing damage. Gonna dodge that. I'm gonna dodge. Nice. Yep, just playing around CC. It is what it is. I'm gonna back here. <laughs> My team might end here. Ergot's coming back though. I'm gonna get Void. And I'm gonna I'm just gonna stick with the void. That's it. I'm not gonna buy my items. But I think game's over already. We do have a Nasus. Jinx and Tarek are coming up though. Should have taken the hex gates if I want to get there as soon as possible. We're actually pretty ahead in levels as well, so that does help. When it comes to void staff and pen, having high base damage is pretty good. Yeah, it's over. GG's. I try to teach the best as I can how to build tanks. I think I, like, said the concepts. I think I showed a pretty good example, too, of it. So I hope you guys learned something from that.